One of the biggest things that we can do, and, and as a parent myself, I totally get why we do this, but I think that sometimes we invalidate our kids' experiences. Um, we don't do it on purpose, but we do it because we're trying to make things better for them. And so, you know, they come home upset because it's been, you know, weeks since they've been able to be out on the pitch and, and things aren't going the way that they want. And, you know, we try to make them feel better by saying, oh, well, it'll be okay. Um And though that's incredibly well-intentioned, what that does is send the the message to them that what they're actually experiencing in their body and and with their emotions is not valid uh, in that moment. And so um, I think one of the things that I'm often telling parents is trust your your kid to feel what it is that they need to feel and work through it the way that they need to work through it. And I'll give you an example. Um, So I have have a two-year-old. Um, and obviously he's, he's not in sport yet. He's a little bit too young for that, but let's say that my two-year-old goes out and he skins his knee. Well, my immediate reaction, and I think what a lot of us would like to do is run over to him and pick him up and hug him and tell him that he's okay. But in doing that, what we tell him is that what his body is feeling, which is a not okay, is not an okay way to feel that there must be something wrong with him for feeling like he's not okay. So instead I really take a pause and I really trust his body to tell him what it is that he needs in that moment. If he needs to cry, I let him cry. If he wants me to hold him, then he'll let me know that he needs me to hold him. I'll pick him up. I won't say anything and I won't do anything. I'll just be there to hold space. And then, of course, if he doesn't want me to hold him, then I'll kind of just be nearby and wait for him. Um, But other times he skins his knee and he doesn't need to cry. And so he's kind of able to work through on, on his own. And what I'm teaching him in those moments is that he can trust himself to know what he feels and to know how it is that he needs to work through it and that there's no perfect way that he needs to do that. And I think that when we fast forward then um, to some of our older kids, that's a really invaluable skill for them to have. So I've also got a six-year-old, and my six-year-old is in football practice or baseball practice or wrestling practice or whatever it is that he's doing. And if he gets upset because something doesn't go his way, instead of me going and talking to coach or me going and yelling at a ref or um, going up to him and saying, hey, suck it up, I kind of let him work through it on his own because he's kind of built up that skill set to listen to his body, to hear what it is that it's trying to tell him, and then to work through it in the way that he needs to, rather than me trying to jump and fix it and make it okay, which inadvertently sends that message that what he's doing isn't right and there must be something wrong with him.